of those conditions are very basic and simple like for example uh, the, the drinking and driving the loud music on, on, on buses the vulgar music on buses uh, each bus must have a number so we can trap them and um, several uh, several things but there are 37 conditions and I think um, another one that uh, the general public and commuters is so dear to my heart with them is the overcrowding of the buses on the highway so we are cracking down on this situation we have the 37 conditions that each bus owner will have to adhere to and sign to before they the condition before they could get their um, their road service permit. Majority of the buses running currently do not have road service permit. Uh, there is only two bus companies that currently have road service permit up to um, 2013, and that is James and Sergio Chuk, which is a uh, Green Line um, Westline. Westline. Um, those are the only two companies that currently have a valid road service permit. The rest will have to uh, fall in line along with those two that have road service permit. But so whenever those road service permits become, uh, whenever they want to apply for it, they need to adhere to those conditions. We are also looking into the possibility of moving the, uh, the road service permit from every two years to up to four years, whereby um, the bus owners were complaining that they have to um, get a loan and repayment period is only two years because their permit is only for two years. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to work with them. We are also giving them things like that so that they can work with the bank and make life easier for them and improve the quality of uh, the, bus, the buses that they have and the service that they provide. Mm -hmm. We are also um, working on the ticketing system because the ticket system is also good as a boarding, work as a boarding pass. Um, and I explained to them that even um, the, the rest of the transport industry, such as the um, water taxis, uh, you don't Everybody see does. you don't see when um, the labs are facing San Pedro Kikaka, people that jump overboard, jump over the bow, jump over the engine, yeah, it's, organized. Example, it's organized. Why? Because they sell tickets. And when you get there first serve, first first come first serve, they get the right. ticket. The other half of the ticket serve as a boarding pass. They get on the boat, they go, and um, there there's more people that need to move. The another boat come up, and same thing can happen, and same thing will happen with the bus industry. So as long as um, I am the minister responsible for transportation, I am working together with the bus association and all bus owners, drivers and conductors and those um, in the bus industry to make it better for commuting public. And how soon will uh, we see all this? Thing? Most of there's there's some of the conditions. Well, in order for them to, to get their permit, they must adhere to those conditions. So they must have their bus painted. They must have the number for mm. for the um, for for the for the. Um, the ministry in there, they must have the number, we must have a phone number for each bus line, the name of the driver and so on. We also, um, when, you, when you go to a bus terminal, you don't know who is the driver, who is the conductor, because nobody drifts, no, majority of them uh, do not have a uniform, so they know we are requiring that the um, bus driver have a uniform, the conductor have a uniform, so when you approach a bus, you know who is the, the person in authority here in terms of the uh, running the bus. So those are some of the things that we are... Do they have a uh, deadline? Um, most of some of the deadlines are by the 15th of September oh, okay. by the 15th of September and the first of first and 15th of September some of the first of September some of the 15th of September days. yeah because like for example I think the the um the marking of the buses that is the first of September each person can mark a bus you know take more than what five ten minutes and put one number for a bus the front the back and the sides so those are some of the uh, uh, things that we are working oh, with yeah. and um I don't think we are seeing no tires to burn uh, this time, and we are trying to make sure that uh, we work with everybody and everybody um, satisfied, and especially the commuting adhere. public. If they don't mm -hmm. adhere, we just ticket them. The ticket, the ticket system will work both ways. They give ticket when they sell a, a, a seat, because each seat will number from mm -hmm. aisle seat and and sure. whatever and one, two, three, right mm -hmm. down the line. Um, we are also yeah, making sure we are, we are the, the bus drivers who not adhere to to the um, the over stop the overcrowdedness and so on and the, and the regulations, they just, we have to deal with them severely and ticket them so that everybody fall in line.